Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy up next. Man, I'm coming up with another video. I ain't man, say man, look. Y'all know the voice is still. Just bear with me. Trucks and shit going on outside. Don't even worry about it. Young Dolph affiliate, Grove Hero exposed. The content must continue. Y'all know we content creators, we content machines. Let's hop straight into it. Make sure you hit that first link in the description. Go cop, go cop, go cop. What we'll shop people up next? Satin line beanie. It's cold as fuck outside. Also, up next, multi purpose beanie. Just to chill and wear around the house. Or you can wear it outside also. Let's hop straight into it. Let's get it. Let's go. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Comment your opinions down below. Now I'm gonna get right into it. I'm gonna get right into it. Grove Hero been exposed. What happened to Young Dolph? Long time ago, and he stood on business about what happened with Young Dolph. Gonna start there, cause now everybody acting like they done forgot everything. That Let Let's start there. Done went on. Are right there, and we gonna go down the list. Know what y'all thinking? Who the wise you doing this? Well, in case you don't know, and you been under a rock somewhere, yo, Gotti brother, Big Jug, got killed. Now, check this out. They saying yo, Gotti is the one that put the hit on Big Jug. Do I believe that? Hell no. Nah. This is how AG1 works to upgrade your health routine by combining many. Yo, kick your 2024 off right. Now you <laughs> did that. No, I don't believe y'all. Uh, I'm finna tell y'all what happened because they like, oh, they got the pictures of the truck out now. The truck ain't got the license plate on it. It's a white Ford truck, all this stuff. But I'm gonna tell y'all like this, man. Listen to me, listen to me real good. If you done tried to kill somebody <clears throat> more than one time, <clears throat> over five times, right? <clears throat> you done tried to kill them all these times. You never you never succeeded in killing this person, right? <clears throat> but on this particular day, you know exactly where this person gonna be at. <clears throat> you know exactly where they going. This person is steadily and constantly posting about the funeral on their Instagram page. So you know exactly where they gonna be at. Let's start there. If you posting about where you gonna be at in Memphis, oh nigga, you too comfortable. Right? Now, this the even crazier part. People swerving down that the students was at the funeral and nobody didn't find a look at them suspicious because they had on masks, but they were sitting in the back. They Come on. We can just stop now. If you had a funeral with a mask on in Memphis, you ain't looking suspicious. Yo, God, he ain't think nothing. Why he took the flight afterwards? That's if they was in there with the mask on. Then they left before the funeral started. <clears throat> but then they followed Jug and his mama to the um, repass. That's when they got out, did the shooting or whatever. What I'm saying is this, though. Why would yo God he go through? <laughs> like, people got to start using their head. I'm just saying, think about it. Why would he go through all that? It is too much, bro. and people talking about, oh, they was too professional. The the white truck was fully tinted. They listen, this a nigga. That was a nigga who killed them. Okay, ain't no damn professionalism. If it was professionalism, them niggas wouldn't have pulled up in no car. Them niggas would have walked. When a nigga want your ass, they gonna get your ass. Okay? Whether that bitch be a bicycle, 
a car, or, or a motorcycle. Ain't no damn professionalism in the damn hood. Nigga walked up on them, sprayed that shit up, dipped off in the car. Niggas didn't give a fuck. He took off the license plate. Bruh, you gotta think. See, this is what a lot of people don't realize. When you in the streets, right? And something happened on the on the spot, like right then and there, you don't got a lot of time to think about how you're gonna carry it out and how you're gonna do this and how you're gonna do that. But when you know what a person gonna be, and you got time to plan, and you got time to take the place off the truck, and you got time, and so when you got time to do all that type of stuff like that, then you can execute it and make it look like it's a professional hit. You see what I'm saying? That don't mean that yo Gotti had nothing to do with it. Nah, bro, I don't believe that. So we gonna go back to the beginning because I feel like if y'all saying Gotti did that to his brother, Gotti done set up this whole thing. <laughs> but I don't think he set up Grove Hero to talk. So let's get into that real quick. When I heard that, that, that little boy Trey Trey say, man, I miss my dad, mom. When I heard that, that fucked me up, bro. That shit fucked me up. And see, these are the little small things that we don't realize when we kill another human being. I don't care if that human being is a crackhead. I don't care if that human being is a prostitute. I don't care if you believe that human being is one of the lowest humans on earth, the scum of the earth. Everybody has a family. Everybody got a mom and a dad, right? So when you take a person's life, the family is dealing with that shit. Not just the, the, the person who's died. They're not dealing with that shit no more. They dead. The family is dealing with that. So whether that man had a son, a daughter, or, or a mom, or a dad, cousin, whatever, they dealing with that death, bruh. So that's that, all that shit going to come back on you. And keep in mind, I said, if I see Juke, if I see Gotti, if I see, if I see, uh, if I see Migo, if I see Youngster, I'm going to get on that. This shit ain't got nothing to do with nobody else, bro. I said, if I see them folk, because these folk got some, had something to do with it, bro. These folk, niggas don't know that Juke put a hit out, bro. So, this man said this way back then. I know the date say January 14, 2024. This man said this way back then. He caught Lil Migo, and we might react to that video if y'all want me to comment down below. He caught Lil Migo, and he smacked him with his goddamn handicapped hand. He smacked his ass. Fast forward, Big Jug dead. So you telling me, why the hell is Big Jug still outside? Why the hell is Big Jug still not locked up. Why the hell did Big Jug not go back to prison? Yo, Gotti, like I told you in the other video, you a bitch because you didn't take care of your brother. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't see your brother through. You didn't groom your brother for the real world. Your brother's still thinking about street shit. Your brother come out of prison, he's still thinking about street shit. You was supposed to take your brother and groom him for the music industry, but you groomed him, you kept leading him forward to that street shit, and now look at your brother. And this shit just sad, and this could apply to a lot of people. But let's continue. But let me just touch on that, right? He said big joke first. So you don't think the police seen this video? Come on now. Nigga don't know this shit. You know what I'm saying? But nah, fuck all that, bro. I need to say that. Niggas ain't gonna say that. Nigga ain't gonna nigga ain't gonna tell the truth, bro. Nigga ain't nigga ain't say, man, hey bro, how you gonna feel if a nigga told you, hey man, look, bro, my just put a forty thousand dollar hit on you, bro. Like you, you, nigga, man, come on, bro. bro. When I heard that, that that little boy And as you see his partner in the background, just like black people do, shh. Well, black people, why y'all always want somebody to shut up? But when y'all go talk to the police, y'all steady singing like the choir on Sunday. But when it comes to the internet or other black people, y'all want them to be quiet. Why is that? Man, y'all better start snitching like these other folks snitching. These folks snitching. These folks in the streets snitching. You understand what I'm saying? 
I give a fuck about that. These niggas snitching out here, boy. Fuck. Now, let me. And I ain't talking about Grove Hero. I'm just speaking on the fact of why black people. Why? Why is it only our community that they have to be quiet when it come to when it come to street shit, when it come to police shit? Why we gotta be quiet? Why we can't tell the truth? And I'm telling. I'm nigga. He did it. Now, if if it, if it was on some other shit like. He in the car and whoop the whoop hell. Nah, like I'm riding with a nigga. I don't ride with niggas that's not gonna take their own lick. I don't ride with niggas. I don't know that you that you got what you got going on. I'm damn sure I'm not gonna ride with no street nigga because he gonna compromise my life too. Let me tell y'all something about what y'all just heard. <laughs> Do y'all see when Grove Hero said that? The people in his background then say you was lying or nothing like that? No. What did the people in Grove Hero background say? They all said, you don't need to be saying that. Why? Because it's the truth. Yeah. We, <laughs> you don't need to be saying I don't lie because it's true. He ain't get called a liar. Ain't nobody take his phone. None of that. Ain't nobody say, why you lying on them people like that? No. He said what he said, and they said, you shouldn't be saying that on there because it was 100% the truth. Now, y'all just heard what Grove Hero said. What happened when he seen Let Me Go? Y'all know what happened when he seen Let Me Go. Let's get into that. Here's one thing you need to do before. Told y'all. You me go? You crazy motherfucker. You me go? Ah, the beach up on fucking ass. What you want to do? Yeah, Come out here. Okay, nigga. Come on, don't be trying to call your partners, bro. It's just me and you on by myself. See that nigga a pussy, that nigga Migo a pussy. They say that Migo didn't even grow up in the streets, they say that nigga grew up in the suburbs. Which is cool, but you stop rapping about the street shit if you grew up in the suburbs. You sounded like me when I was 15, 16. Nigga didn't know no better. Now nah, I know better, I'm not finna go in the studio and rap about no street shit though. Sound like a fucking little kid. A lot of y'all rappers did y'all ass beat anyways. Y'all need a good ass whooping. Your mama didn't whoop you. That's the problem. Your mama need to get on your ass and go and tell you the truth, son. You don't need to be rapping about that bullshit because you ain't never did it. <laughs> shake your head, nigga, man. All right, shake your head. And you know that nigga scared. Because when I say come outside, you get on your phone. Mm -mm. See, now I'm about to beat your ass in the airport. I'm definitely about to catch a charge. Definitely about to catch a felony. Because that's a felony. You doing all this shit in the airport. Yeah. Hey, don't be trying to call none of your partners. I'm by myself on God. Come on. <laughs> Me and you outside. You know what I'm saying? Your bitch trying to wait on their partners. Bitch ass nigga. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? Hey, so, so you mean to tell me, <laughs> bro, hero, <laughs> it ain't back Lil Migo first, but he told y'all why he didn't say, if you see Lil Migo, dip, you know what I'm saying? This is what he was going to do. And he did that, which means he felt strongly about what he thought. He felt strongly about what he felt. And he felt like Big Jug had something to do with it, right? He didn't feel. He knew. Now let's go to over here. No, before we even get to over here, let's come to over here. Teasy. I remember when it first happened. Um, Teasy ended up being a suspect or whatever. Don't matter no more because, you know, Teasy got killed. Teasy dead, right? Okay. Remember when Black Youngster, after Dolph died, and then he came out. What'd he say? It don't matter no more, because Teezy did. <laughs> that should let y'all know something. If another man come to say, listen, if another man come to y'all and be like, yeah, I got this amount of money for you to go kill him, for you to go play God and end his life, you better tell that nigga no. <clears throat> because let me say, You praising that nigga now. You ain't praying you ain't praising God. You praising him. You think he your God. You think that he got the power to control life and death. 
you think you got the power to control life and death, and you don't. God do. Yeah. So all that bullshit you doing, that shit gonna come back on you, especially if it's murder. With the assuming video, he was all at the graveyard in front of the picture with the word throwing on it. He was doing all that. Now remember, yo, Gotti was so mad about what he was doing at the time, and I don't care what y'all say. Yo, Gotti, yo, Gotti gave him the meanest boot from CMG. Yeah, no, he didn't. Yeah, he just got back. Oh, he just got back. Cool, now. He no, he didn't. Stop it. Yo, God was just trying to protect his name and protect his brand. Stop it. Because if you see right there, if everybody look closely, hashtag heavy count. Yo, God is oversees all this shit. Yo, God is black youngster is a fucking puppet for Yo, God. Why you think black youngster brothers died? You can't do certain shit in life and think you're going to get away with it, especially murder. He probably renegotiated or something because he was going to need God. He didn't renegotiate. They were still cool. That's how this street shit worked. <laughs> Yo, God, was just trying to protect his name and his brand. Yo, God, you a bitch. Because you, because you, because Dolph Gone, you are already going against that side. Who else was Black Youngster going to get up with and be able to do stuff with for Memphis or anything like that? You see what I'm saying? Now, let's come over here and let's talk about I don't see players, what you're saying. Right? So now, in this picture, you got Fernandez Govin and Big Jup. They saying... And mind you, like I told y'all last video, Fernandez, Fernandez, Right, his daughter already did, and she was signed to Lil Uzi Vert, Lil, Lil Lucifer. Lucifer, she was already signed, so you knew you already know she was gonna die. But the dad just sprinkled more salt on her. Mm -hmm. Now, now your daughter gone. Now you out of jail, and you know you ain't supposed to be out of jail. But the daughter, your your daughter that you was supposed to raise, she did. And you know you' supposed to be dead. Mm -hmm. Hernandez go in and get all his money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And he out on this probation. Now remember, he violated. Now Hernandez go in did not want to stay in Memphis, so he kept leaving. He kept being on the run. He kept breaking his curfews and all that, and going on vacation. And so look right. Probation people, they so, the police, they so smart. They not even smart. They just, y'all gotta understand that the criminal justice system is criminal. <laughs> they demand the criminals. So if you think you a criminal and you gonna outsmart the criminal system, you got another thing coming because you playing their game. And they play the long term game. <laughs> they, 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 okay, we're gonna release you. We're gonna let you go. But you got a curfew. And you got an address that you're supposed to be at. And if you're not at that address at this curfew, you're violated. <laughs> what does that sound like to y'all? A fucking setup. We know you killed this man, but we're going to send you back home to, to, to the war zone. And you got a curfew. You know what them young niggas going to do? And I creep. Yeah. They're going to other states and everything. Right. I never heard nothing about Govan not getting his money until today. So now they saying Gotti was so mad that Juk did all this that he had him took out. Bro, why would Gotti wait this long to do that? Gotti would have been dead. Like if he was like how he was mad at the time and he got rid of black youngster and black youngster won no CMG. To, Think about how many tools they went on since Dolph had been dead and Black Youngster won at none of them. Because he was tarnished. He was tarnishing the brand. On the music side, it was smart. 
for it for its analytical data. It was smart to make a diss song, a diss record. But for business, it was stupid to for you to be around my brand. Knowing that you sh you the main one that shot up that nigga bus. Yeah, you tarnishing the brand, nigga. Yeah, you bringing negative energy to the brand. Even though I'm the nigga that, you know what I'm saying? Yo, guy, the nigga that put the hits and shit like that. You tarnishing my brand. So I'm going to have to bench your ass for a minute. Here you go, though. You can get paid still. You can look good still, but here you go. <laughs> Black Youngster just start back doing shows with them. Black Youngster wasn't even on no tours with them, no songs with them, no nothing, no projects, no nothing. Why? Because Yo Gotti told him he was doing too much and he didn't want to stop. And he couldn't stop. And his reason for Yo Gotti, who why he was doing what he was doing, because allegedly, when his brother got killed in Florida, well, they blame PRE for that. I ain't saying they did it. I'm just saying that's who got blamed for that. Who knows? I don't know. Nigga, I wasn't there. Did it. I don't know. Nigga, Memphis did it. Fuck you, talking about nigga. Talking about PRE did it. <laughs> PRE is Memphis. Memphis is PRE. When Young Dolph said, I'm the king of Memphis. Y'all got this shit mistaken. The reason he said he the king. Nigga was on some mess and moose and shit, nigga. Nigga pulled up in a fucking V12 to the hood. Who the fuck you know? When have you ever seen a V12 in the hood? Nigga, you gotta go to Hollywood. You gotta go to the A. You gotta go somewhere. It's popular. It's popping. You got a lot of money where the community is already built to see a V12, to see a V10, to see a V8. Nigga, you go to the hood, you gonna see Chargers. You gonna see Hondas. You gonna see Fords. You damn sure ain't gonna see no Rari. So guess what? Young Dolph brought the money back to the hood. Young Dolph was giving money out to the kids. You think them kids gonna forget this shit when they grow older? You kill that man, them kids gonna resent your ass. Them kids thinking about their hundred dollars, what they could do with their hundred dollars right now. They could feed their mama, feed their daddy with their hundred dollars. Their daddy might be somewhere else, but Young Dolph just came to the hood and dropped them a hundred dollars. So now they got food for the week. Y'all niggas ain't thinking like that. That's why I call that nigga Mansa Musa. Cause when that nigga went back to the community, up, up lifted the community. Y'all better read. And I don't, I ain't never seen nobody get locked up or arrested for it. So I can't say who did that, right? So Acorns is a uh, financial tech company. get hit in Memphis and like I said they've been trying to kill him so so many times you would have just ran people oh they done shot up juke truck oh they shot juke coming out the restaurant they done shot at juke they done did this they done did that right so many times oh they done left juke car on the side of the road and all type of stuff right Gotti could have been did this stuff if he set it up Right? Go in. Listen, they tell me how he wanted listen. his money. Y'all niggas thinking too deep about that sacrifice shit, right? Y'all thinking way too deep about the sacrifice shit. Yo, Gotti sacrificed his brother when his brother came out of prison. And he didn't lead his brother to the music industry. He didn't lead his brother to the promised land. He didn't keep his brother out of the streets. That's when you sacrificed your family. Is when you put your family in jeopardy. Y'all thinking too hard about this sacrificial shit. Oh, yo, yo, God, he did it. Why the fuck would I look my brother in the eyes and then kill him? You gotta think. That was that was just at the funeral. Okay. Joe. Whatever, whatever. I don't know, but like I said, we go there. It was one of two things. Either people really is scared of that man, <laughs> or some ain't right about him being in the story. Cause guess what? 
he was out probation or something, wherever he at. I ain't even heard about nobody trying to kill Govin. I ain't heard about only thing we heard about Govin, a lot of cash deaths though got killed. I like the way he just said, I ain't heard about nobody trying to kill uh, 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 Govan. Nigga, they killed his daughter. The next sentence he says, yeah, they got his daughter. Nigga, what is that trying to tell you? What is, what is that telling you right there? If we can't get you, we're going to get your family. That's how the hood work. That's how the streets work. You don't believe me? If we can't, if you ducking and hiding, we gonna get your people. We know where your people at. They still back home. Cause you ain't smart enough. You ain't taking that money and getting them out the way. That was it. Other than that, Goldman on probation, he said he wanted a shot, told the judge he need a job. <laughs> Everything got denied. But still though, the judge told him like, don't you know somebody will kill you? And then Govan shook his head. He said, yeah, yeah. But this is the crazy part. Has anybody tried? Bro, it's the streets, bro. You don't know shit until the shit happened. You don't know if they've been after your guided brother for a minute. It's the streets, my nigga. So a lot of this shit you saying now, I, I can't see. I can't see. Oh, ain't nobody tried to kill Govan. Really? Why they kill his daughter? You think his daughter had it something to do with Young Dolph? You think his daughter shot Young Dolph? Not to my knowledge. But Juke, oh, psh, man, please. The, the, the same day, days after, days later, weeks later, they always been trying to kill Juke. So let's just say your guy he did set it up. It wouldn't have been hard because they've been trying to do it anyway. Okay. Okay, hip hop booty, you had me, and then you lost me, my nigga. So I gotta stop the video with the video of who it. Because now you're going off of speculations. Oh, they could have been, they could have. Listen, man, you gotta just, you gotta stay on top of hip hop booty, bro. Like, you gotta stay on top of my nigga, but thanks for the report. <clears throat> I appreciate y'all. Y'all know I'm still going through some shit, but this content still gotta come up. I appreciate y'all. Go cop, go shop. First link in the description. Peace.